I have some breaking news uh, coming from our political editor, Laura Kunzberg. The BBC understands that the Mayor of London is to campaign to leave the EU. Uh, after days of speculation, we're told he will confirm tonight that he will back the campaign for Brexit. Now, this is seen as a huge boost to the out campaign and a major blow to the Prime Minister who had hoped to present, persuade uh, his friends and colleagues uh, to remain in the EU. So just to repeat, BBC understands that Boris Johnson, the Mayor of London, is to campaign to leave the EU. Let's go straight to Westminster. Our correspondent Alex Versailles is there for us. Um, this was what people were talking about and what people were expecting, isn't it, Alex? That's right. There's been days, really, of speculation about which way Boris Johnson would go in this. Yesterday, of course, we had that Cabinet meeting where David Cameron set out the terms of the referendum and six people who are cabinet ministers or those who attend cabinet said that they would be voting to campaign to leave the EU. But the big question mark remained over the London Mayor, Boris Johnson. And we've just had in the last few minutes confirmation that he will campaign on the side of out. He will join the Leave campaign. Now, the reason that there is such interest in Boris Johnson, that this was such a big question mark, is not because he's anything more than just one politician, one man, but he's the type of politician that can really cut through beyond the Westminster bubble and reach out to the public. So the, Leave, the Out campaign will see this as a significant uh, boost to them to have such a big name, a big figure on board, someone with that kind of public draw, public attention. This is quite a blow, isn't it, for David Cameron, though, because he had hoped to talk Boris Wright. Well, Boris Johnson, we understood, was always really carefully considering his position, and uh, there was some genuine question marks over which way he would go in recent days. He was said to be waiting to see the results of what David Cameron could negotiate uh, during that that long protracted discussion in Brussels. Uh, so yeah, David Cameron will see this as a blow to some degree because Boris Johnson is such a key figure uh, and it will undoubtedly be seen as a boost to uh, the out campaign. But David Cameron has consistently said that uh, this should be a moment when people should be able to follow their conscience, conscience and not be bound by party lines. He said this will be a debate that crosses those. Of course, despite that rhetoric from the Prime Minister that we've consistently had, the big problem for the Conservative Party is historically they've been very divided on Europe and now as we're starting to see this campaign really kick off we're already having different sides of the party lining up to make conflicting arguments and with a name as significant as Boris Johnson uh, joining that uh, leave campaign that's only going to heighten the tension. And you mentioned that he was considering his position uh, quite carefully and I'm assuming in that consideration he was thinking about his own political future as well. Yeah, two things really that Boris Johnson had consistently said a big question for him about the European Union was this question of sovereignty. So how much uh, the UK could uh, dictate its own laws, how much it could go out on its own and make its own decisions without being answerable to people in Brussels. Now, we know that David Cameron is in coming days to unveil something to do with this aspect of sovereignty, some sort of bit of legislation to boost the power of national parliaments, and that was part of his renegotiation. So that is certainly one aspect that Boris Johnson, uh, we understand, had a legitimate interest in seeing what the result of that that negotiation would be. But the other bit, yes, of course, is a political calculation. We know uh, that David Cameron has said he won't serve a full third term as a Prime Minister, so there is inevitably a degree of speculation about who's going to uh, succeed him. And Boris Johnson is one of the names that has repeatedly been in the mix. So he will be looking to his own position in the party in the much longer term. He would have taken that into account as part of this decision. But everybody who's come to, had to wrestle really with their own uh, stance on this has said very publicly those who are going to back the Leave campaign have said it's not been an easy decision. Of course they're considering uh, where they stand in the party, their loyalty to Prime Minister and Government but, and their own futures. But the bigger question uh, that they all consistently say is that this is a decision about what's right for the country and that's ultimately which has led them to decide which side of this argument they're going to be on. Alex, just as we were talking there, we saw the live pictures coming in of Boris Johnson returning to his home, going through like a, a, a large mob of the press, but saying nothing. He's got his bobble hat on, he's gone in, he hasn't said anything. When would we expect to hear, do you think? 
Well, we had been expecting him to outline his arguments for which side of the debate he would sit on in his regular column in the Telegraph newspaper. So we had been thinking that wasn't going to be until later tonight. But now there is an expectation that he may say something because there has been this confirmation in the last few minutes that he will campaign to leave the European Union. We now uh, expect that he may make some sort of statement. No confirmation of this at this stage. But of course, uh, Boris Johnson will be wanting to set out his arguments, the reasons that he's decided to take this position. Uh, so you can expect to hear something from him some stage today. Okay, Alex. Uh, thank you very much indeed.